Last month, News 8 told you about a group of RIT students taking part in a contest to design the Hyperloop. It's a high-speed transportation concept by tech giant Elon Musk and his company SpaceX. Hyperloop plans to carry people and cargo between Los Angeles and San Francisco in just 35 minutes. Well, Jordan Guerin spoke with those students this afternoon upon their return from the international competition. Jordan? Adam, Elon Musk asked engineering teams and universities from all over the world to compete this weekend at Texas A&M for the competition. The RIT group, they developed two innovations and are now one step closer in helping to make the Hyperloop a reality. What could be the future of transportation may lie in the hands of nine students from RIT. They've been working for several months to develop different concepts for the Hyperloop. An idea that a bullet train could travel at 760 miles per hour using affordable and clean technology. We entered two subsystems. One of them was scanning the inner walls of the tube for any cracks, dents, or deformed seams for maintenance purposes. And the other one was a optical communication system that would completely replace the Wi-Fi and outperform it. In stiff competition with 100 entries from more than 20 countries, they were worried their work wouldn't shine through. Instead, they were surprised to see their work as one of the standouts. People from all over the room came over. They would send their teammates over and saying, oh, look at these guys. They're doing something different. It's really cool. A lot of people were really interested, and it was really impressive and exciting. The group won the Innovation Award for their optical communications design. They received a small-scale tube with a piece of Hyperloop's test track inside, signed by Elon Musk, who made a surprise appearance at this weekend's competition. I think we were all very surprised. It was also the first award called, so we were, like, completely um, caught off guard, I think. Although they weren't finalists this time around, they're still not out of the running. Multiple winners are interested in collaborating for the next round, which focuses on the Hyperloop's test track in California this summer. If possible, we would love to implement um, our designs with other pod teams, as well as work with SpaceX um, to come up with a safety system for the Hyperloop that they haven't thought of yet. So, Adam, hard work definitely played, paid off in this very unique project here. Many long nights in the lab for these students. They've been working since the beginning wow. of last fall semester. Obviously. And they were saying they're hoping to work with other folks down the road, so you got to imagine there are going to be more long nights for them. Right, there's going to be. They actually want to get back to work today, but they were very tired from their <laughs> trip this weekend. Uh, SpaceX itself actually reached out to them. They want to use some of their concepts and the design, so the sky's the limit for these kids here. They're going to keep working on this. Yeah, there we go. MIT, meet RIT. I love it. Thank you, Jordan.